So we're saying that uh, we learned from Maharaj of, of understanding more and more laws, understanding that um, the goal of progress is Krishna. And uh, Prabhupada, in one sense, based on my understanding, kind of treat the West or to allow them to progress um, so, so that um, if they take to the process in the way he said, oh, you know, you do the chanting, you do the, you know, the reading and all these things, then they can progress because Krishna is allowing them to progress in that way. Um, and they get to the stage where then they can be able to hear about the higher topic matters without making offense because in the 10 um, offenses, we learn that it's an offense to speak on high topic matters with the faithless for those who don't understand. So in line with this tricking, um, I've been given this seva, we do kirtans, Mother Jagata was also seen, you know, in the manner we do the book challenge. Um, that's where I met mom from as well, when I was in the ashram for three years. And I was, ex um, and I was explaining how, you know, and I think I told you this also as well, I did grow up with a father, um, and I grew up around a lot of women. And so that's why maybe my external uh, expression is very feminine. And uh, in, in that, I attract a different kind of people that are different from those who maybe might choose to come to this place to hear Qatar. Um, but they'll appreciate me because of my different look, especially in the mentality of this age. So my question is, should I try go for the same trick that, you know, we attract and we bring them and then we help them progress in that way because they'll come and they'll listen because they'll appreciate this difference. And then, then they can come to be able to understand and appreciate persons like Maharaj who can be able to give them that higher tattva. Otherwise, if I change and I become just like everyone else, then they stop listening because they're still on the lower modes. So it's as if, yeah, yeah so uh, whether, you know, so I guess that's similar to what I asked, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe different words, but I'm thinking that we also have to treat it. The other question was, is that the, the mood of the gopis? Are they also, um, you know, looking for whatever intelligent way to trick people to come so they can also get attracted? Or is it different? You know, just, yeah. Okay. So this is question. Yeah, yeah, please, Udawa. No, I wanted to ask if somebody could repeat the question. And does, is he saying that uh, Prabhupada tricked his devotees? He fooled his devotees? Mm. Uh, yeah, you can you can answer maybe, Jananda. <clears throat> like, I, I, I feel that his question like this. He was ISKCON, he was preaching, you know, to, to like a holy name. But also, same time, he want to practice here very higher knowledge. But the Prabhupada said, at first, we have to, you know, we, you know the, pro, the way of progress we, is Krishna. And uh, he's, he's saying, distributing, you know, holy name, saving people. Also, same time, he want to say, listen, uh, higher kata. And, uh, you know, he's like wondering, I can do, you know, same way I'm distributing holy name, helping people. Also, same time, I can, uh, I can hear this higher, higher, like tattva, higher kata. And uh, so he's asking, like, uh, is it okay or Mark you have some different opinion? You know, in short, Mark something Mark he's Mark like, uh, he's wondering because he's an Iskon devotee, you know, he's doing Bhaiji Bhakti. And uh, so that kind of his question, maybe I don't know. Is it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what you but the, trick, is, the trick he's talking about is saying that the goal is Krishna? More yeah. Yeah, so because. Like I said, he, he was thinking this is some kind of trick because the high, highest goal is Radha. But at, at first, they, they come to Krishna. So, and then, uh, you know, 
Frank Patrick somewhere. And uh, is it uh, for me okay or something? Thank you. I understand. Yes. And I, I don't know how to how I did answer. So could you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's play further. <coughs> Okay. So I joined nineteen eighty six ISCOM and then immediately I start chanting sixteen round and I joined tempo. Immediately I become Sankyan devotee. I was distributing book maybe twelve, fifteen years. Maybe I don't know, maybe we did we distribute maybe fifty thousand. And every day. So and then, but same time I have read the Prabhupada book within two, three years. Maybe 1988, maybe 89, I understood. That another I should do. Because I want to become, you know, at first I have the question. I'm Saka. I'm Gopi or Manjari. This is my question. Why? But uh, fortunately, I came to Vrindavan, I based Radha Kunda, and I realized I'm Radha's servant, main servant. So, but my problem is I want to do Radha Nuga Bhakti, but who can teach me? Who can show me the way? At that time, it's gone. I could not find anybody. This is my my biggest frustration. And we are looking for this summer who can, you know, can show us the way. Then I found Gora Govinda Swami Maharaj. And he's very nice. But he, unfortunately, he left his body in 96. Then I met Naren Maharaj, and then I was a little learning. But so, but I could not get real, real say. I cannot get real thing, honestly speaking, because I did not know who am I. Yeah. I know I'm a Krishna dance. But also I know Radha dance. But I don't know what is my name, what is my age, what is my seva, what is my body color, what is my you know clothes, what uh, where I am living, you know, etc. I could not know this. So, and then after I met, you know, Sri Rasadu Maharaj, and uh, I started slowly practicing Dhanganura Bhakti, Rupananga Bhakti. And then I was, I started reading Prem Bhakti Chandrika, Radhana Sastra, reading Virapaksumante, etc. Then, honestly speaking, I felt I am cheated. <laughs> I am cheated. My wife and myself, I said, why we waste time 28 years? I was, I give up everything. I could have a good job. Actually, I had a good job in Japan. I could be president of the company. You know, and so, but I give up everything. I give up even family. I give up everything. My job, friend, everything. I I take shelter. And I spent many years. But it's going to be very good. But, but only they teach me by the way. I, you know, I discuss with my wife. We are cheated. Why they should teach me from beginning the whole of life? Why they could, they could not teach me God is Radharani, Radharani is Guru Pagosami said to us, 
Boy, Mahaprabhu teaches honestly being. I was preaching, but I don't know who I was. I don't, I did not realize still I'm preaching. Question is, what do you want to do? Do you want to realize? Or you want to practice by the you know, you know, uh, so, you know, it, you know, you don't need that. Yeah. So my honest feeling, my myself and wife, we are discussing why, why our teacher does not teach us. And honestly speaking, on, you know, honestly speaking, my feeling is. This. Prabhupada went from Brindavan to United, you know, United States. At that time, Prabhupada wanted to give everything to Western America. But Prabhupada see Western people, the old most of hippie, they they cannot teach Ranganuga Bhakti immediately. So therefore, he set some principle to follow, like a four regulated principle. You shave the head, you wear that this, you should do this, that kind of body. Yeah. Because we don't have any adhikara qualification. Maybe we, I also, I, I may not have a space transfer. I have not enough sanskara to take immediately Raja mm. But my feeling, honestly feeling, is if Guru teach me from beginning, I met Raja Guru, Sushuni Guru, Sant Guru, then my life may change. Because, because my aim to take Krishna consciousness, I join this one because I want to realize it. I want to solve all the questions of my life and also realize it. So, you know, to help others is good, but at first you, you realize first, then you can teach. Actually, not to teach, teach maybe a little bit, you know, little bit of kind of Maybe share, share, share. This is my honest feeling, you know. So I don't know. It is, it is. Uh, I don't know. It is good to answer or not. But uh, my honest feeling like this. If Shri Prabhupada had not come, so, so maybe Govinda, Govinda, ni chan, chan to answer to one. Govinda, nandi ni san, no desu. 通訳どのぐらいいけてますかちょっとリアクションいただけたらはい、そのカウンセルビトシーズンリトルリトルリトルリカットとはいや、またファッティキャンウィドゥヒアウェイいや、ジャストサマリーいやでシーキャントランスレ
if you realize accordingly, you can help people. But if you don't realize, you cannot really help. That's my small answer. Yeah. Sri Rad. <coughs> okay, Govinda Nandini, that job. That <coughs> job. That job. Okay. Okay. Sri Rad. <laughs> okay, we are playing next. Very good to place my dancer. Okay, here here it comes. Would you like would that desire to watch a yoga bhakti of being there? Or is it it by the association of Prabhupada? that it gradually raised you to then want that desire. Because for me, I'm feeling like very still in that institution of Prabhupada. Because if you do not come to my life, the whole process of bhakti, even, even the names of Krishna, would never have been something I would have thought of. Although I was, you know, I was raised Catholic. Um, and even in the Catholic Church, we we're making these prayers and songs and we're asking, we want to see Krishna, God's face, we want to in his home, I was sharing with Prabhu a translation of one song I was singing, but I would have never known that that God is Krishna or or anything to do with either Krishna or Radhanani or anything to do with the Gaudiya teachings if Prabhupada had not installed that seed. So my question is, is that really frustration or should it not be more gratitude that he gave you that life for? Actually, I so much gratitude to Shri Okay. 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 <clears throat> so, I don't know if Uddhavid, you can summarize or. Uh, the question was not clear. <laughs> like a question like this. So, because Prabhupada gave me so many things, mm -hmm. you know, gave me Krishna, gave me Radha, you know. So, I'm so much uh, gratitude, appreciation, Prabhupada. <laughs> so, therefore, I have to stay in, in its practice this this by the bhakti. Uh, like you know, kind of his feeling. Yeah, I understand, but I'm so much indebted of Prabhupada because Prabhupada guide us in this in this direction. So how can I deal with Prabhupada movement? That like, you know, kind of feeling he has. Yeah. Mm. That's my understanding. Mm. Okay. We'll play we are playing more. Okay. <coughs> Okay, we continue playing. Uh, just I want to please uh, show background of this uh, devotee so you will understand why this kind of person uh, arrives. Kind of he, he came from Kenya, but uh, now he is living in England, Bhakti Benanta Mano, and uh, he is just three years living in the temple. But uh, he does not have a father. Maybe he lost the father early age, and uh, he stay with uh, many ladies. So his uh, his like uh, his feature is like looks like a lady, little bit funny funny looking. So, but he is very very serious to know, and uh, he is very uh, saved by meeting devotee. That is true. <coughs> Honestly speaking, if I could not meet the Padupada, meet, meet the Padupada, I did not meet the Padupada personally. But as soon as I see picture of Padupada, my heart said this one. So if I I think you know this question maybe is not maybe proper, but if Padupada not go to United States, if, if Prabhupada does, did not distribute this Krishna consciousness, I also, I am not to be here, yeah. honestly speaking. <laughs> when, we, when we glorify during your journey, so, so when we when we glorify Shri Prabhupada and we show our gratitude to Shri Prabhupada, 
at least for me, I am also glorifying Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur. Because Sri Prabhupada came to the West on the order of Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur. Without that order, without that close connection to his guru, Prabhupada has no empowerment. Many times, especially in Iskand, they glorify Srila Prabhupada and they say, basically, it's Srila Prabhupada is getting directly from Krishna this, this power, right? I mean, a lot of times they don't say it, maybe, but it's kind of like, it's Krishna, Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then Prabhupada, and then us. Like, it's coming like this. So sometimes they're not giving... Maybe you don't have that experience. Yeah, yeah, no. no, you don't. Personally, you don't. <laughs> but I've, you know, a lot of times I feel like Shri Prabhupada is an instrument of 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 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's an instrument. He says he is a puppet. He's going to you as he doesn't know what's going to happen. He's completely surrendered, following his guru and following the mission of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So if Sri Prabhupada hadn't come to the West, then someone else would have come. You see? So it's, I mean, I'm not minimizing Sri Prabhupada. I'm just saying we have to see in the perspective of Bhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur and he establishing this goal, this mission to fulfill the prophecy of Titanya Mahaprabhu every town and village, right? This is, this is going to happen. It's prophecy. It will happen whether it's Prabhupada or Bhakti Siddhartha or, or Bhakti Rakshak Srinam Maharaj, also very highly qualified Srinam Maharaj. Kuru Prima, so many of the disciples, you know, the, the Daita and Madhava Maharaj, very elevated. I mean, tremendously, you know, pure devotees. But they didn't come to the West. So, that, so we're not giving them the proper respect. Just, you know what I'm saying? This, yeah, this I, is, that, that's why I'm just saying, we have to see Sri Prabhupada in proper perspective. Yeah. So when you're saying, I owe something to Prabhupada, or I want to follow Prabhupada, actually, you have to go back a little bit more and say, am I really following this Bodhya Vaishnava, this, this strict line, right? From Bhakti Siddhanta to Sadhaswati to am I connected to that? That yes. is your connection. I mean, not to a No, no, of course. Yeah. Automatically. But that's, that's important. There will be affection for the person that you're having that direct relationship with. So, for example, Maharaj, who I'm dealing with directly, I will have affection for Maharaj, mm -hmm. although Maharaj might be getting his empowerment from his guru. Right. And right. in most of Prabhupada's right. lectures, he would never say that he's getting instruction directly from Krishna. Right. It was always. But in, the, in the song, in the song, he say, He's, saying, he's, he's, uh, what, he's on the Jaladutta. He's singing. He's not singing to his guru. But he's, singing to, he's singing to Krishna. Krishna can yeah. dance, you know. But he knows. So, right. Okay. So a, lot of, a, lot these, a lot of the ones um, take that. And he's like, he's, so he's like, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. This summarizes, like, uh, I don't know, correct. Maybe Siddhanta Maharaj was this kid. So sometimes people glorify Prabhupada. Just, just, but uh, the true. If Prabhupada does not go to west, you know, not to most of all of us, we are not here. But uh, they, they stress Prabhupada yeah. too much. But actually, Prabhupada came to United States by the instruction of his guru, Sri Bhakti Sansarade Thakur. Means from, from Guru Parampara, he empowered. Yeah. So, and then, you know, so, and then discussion is going on. <clears throat> yeah, but that's yeah. devoting this interpretation. Yeah. That is not because right. Right. we always know that Guru is Krishna and actually Guru is Deepa. Yeah. Guru is Radharani because Radharani is the best teacher. Mm. She's the one who's serving the best. Right? Um, because again, I think, I'm, and I'm not too sure, maybe I'm wrong, Nityananda Prabhu. Um, who is Balaram? Balaram also goes to learn from Shimachi Radharani. You know how to serve. You know, so I think, and I might be wrong by saying that I'm using the wrong words. He's, he's three. He's not only yeah. Balaram. He's also an only majority. He's also anyway, the point yeah. being, the point <laughs> being, Balaram himself places that status. 
you know, like maybe some misinterpretation of the disciples. Yeah. From up um, up. Okay. Um, my God, you I said to my feeling. Western people please forgive Western people Yes. And outside Indian people. You know, Western oh, oh. to took back the external thing, mm. like a bodily one. More. But actually, bhakti is external thing, really? also internal thing. There, honestly speaking, my experience is from Godiamata practicing external thing mainly. Yeah. Honestly speaking. And here, Sadhu Maharaj is coming from Nityananda Rai, say, in short, say, like Diksha Rai, Babaji Rai. Mm -hmm. This Rai mainly practices internal, internal worship, bhajan. Of course, they do also external thing, but the main thing is internal thing. Mean, mean, internal means what is our swarupa, what is our real identity, and what is our ishtadeva, what is the relationship, and what is our gurudev, gurudev, what can we see, gurudev is external body or internal swarupa. This is a different conception of this body and this Baba You understand? So, Therefore, it is up to desire. So, Prabhupada has given Krishna consciousness. So, actually, give everything, but according to our Adhikara, we can take okay. Prabhupada give external party, you know, and they attach it. Yeah. I mean, we could also say, you know. According to your design, serving Maharaj, you will see something specific. You know, the, um... So, many conversations there, and then I, I explain. Uh, actually, bhakti is two kinds of phase. External bhakti means uh, sadhaka deha. In this body, we practice bhakti. Also, in in the Sita Deha, you know, internal bhakti. There are two kinds of bhakti. My feeling is Prabhupada give us, try to give us everything, but uh, unfortunately, outside the Indian devotee, especially Western devotee, they took bhakti external activity. This, this is by the bhakti. So, but uh, my feeling is, <clears throat> this I'm I, I actually actually I I beg you know please forgive me my my saying but my honest feeling Iskon Godiamata they teach mainly external bhakti by the bhakti that is my observation. My God, really? This is my observation, maybe wrong. Right, <clears throat> got <laughs> So and uh, and this our 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 Guru Dev Sadhu Maharaj Rai is Nichanan Rai. We are so called Baba Rai. Baba Rai is main target is internal bhakti. Also, both things you know internal bhakti, you know Swarupa and also you know Sadaka Deha and Sita Deha. Both we do, but mainly. Target is internal bhakti. So this is a <coughs> big difference between this Congolian Mata and this Baba Jirai. I just to clearly said to him. But may I ask this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I explain now, 
So please forgive me if I say a little bit wrong. Or oh, if you have. My observation is like this. <clears throat> Iskon Gautiamata teaches external bhakti, Vaidhi bhakti, mainly. But our Babajirai teaches internal bhakti. That is that is quite a difference. So therefore, I could not satisfy in their bhakti, at least in my case. That's I. It's a friction has you are calm and I friend, huh? Of course, uh, Maybe you, you share your experience. Iskon Gaudiya Mat, this line experience. What do you feel? What is the difference between these three lines? What do you feel? The difference in message in the difference in teachings. What is similar and what is different? This is very important. In the um, the introduction to letter of devotion, which is um, after the time of dependence, Prabhupada said that the goal of sadhana bhakti is bhav bhakti. So that was one of the first things he said to us. The goal of sadhana bhakti is bhav bhakti, right? But so he was giving us. He was giving us everything and he said everything you need to know is in my books the problem is that no one really understood what he was giving and even when he had the conversation with the iskon gurus they didn't understand it you know, their adhikar wasn't 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 um wasn't there at that time and you know so yeah, Srila Prabhupada came to spread Krishna consciousness through the masses. And so he could only give so much. And on his deathbed, two weeks before he left this world, he asked Srila Narayan please help them because I wasn't able to give them everything. So Narayan Maharaj took that to me that he wasn't able to give them Radha Dasyam, which he did not give. He did not speak directly about Radhadasya. Yeah. Mm. So can I do it? Yeah. <coughs> when I was learning Sanskrit in Vrindavan, at that time one devotee, one very senior devotee, is telling me very interesting comment. This comment was like this: "Is con teaching by the bhakti." Gaudiya Mata is teaching Vaidhi Bhakti, but Narayan Maharaj teaching Vaidhi and Raganuga Bhakti. And in Radha Kunda, Ananta Spurge Maharaj, they are teaching pure Raganuga Bhakti. He's saying like this. And then, then he said, I think Narayan Maharaj is Acharya, but uh, my feeling is after Narayan Maharaj, next to Acharya should be Sadhu Maharaj. He commented to me like this. I just remembered that in, in the introduction, it was the introduction to Nectar of Devotion, he said, we are all Rupa Nukas. But, you know, most of us didn't understand that at the time, so... I think everyone finds their guru when the time is right. You know, some devotees are happy to just carry on in Vaidhi Bhakti. But Srila Prabhupada himself said that the goal, that the result of Vaidhi Bhakti is Vaikuntha, not Raj. You will not be able to go to Galuk by Vaidhi Bhakti. Only, you know, Vaikuntha. But Prabhupada wanted to give it. But, you know, he was preparing us, I felt. <clears throat> he, he was giving us um, an opportunity to increase our sukriti so that eventually we would come to that point. You know, and otherwise, why would I, otherwise I wouldn't be here. You know, my, I had to build up my sukriti. You know, and those who are meant to 
understand these higher topics, they'll, they'll find the, the guru that will teach them. That's my understanding. Mm. And also, from beginning, I, I have read Nectar of Devotion. Then Prabhupada saying, I don't know Nectar of Devotion, but Prabhupada said, we are Rupa Nuga. And then I'm thinking, oh, probably, you know, I, I we are reading Nectar of Devotion means Bhaktira Samhita Sin. So we practicing according to instruction of Rupa Goswami. Then, oh, we are Rupa Nuga. We are thinking like this. We do not think what Rupa Goswami want to be a want you know, want to give us, actually, is it, at that time, we are not clear, honestly speaking. Then slowly, slowly, we practicing, reading, you know, Chaitan Charita Murita, reading next time in instruction, you know, and then another Rashka Vajna book, uh, then slowly, slowly, uh, we understand, oh, Rupa Nunga means following, you know, Dasi of Radharani, this conclusion, I came, but after maybe I don't know, after uh, three, four years, I, I get this conclusion. But before, I just following, you know, next time devotion, oh, we are good. I'm thinking like this. Yeah. Yeah. I think it just depends on our security from past life. Some, some many people who came into ISKCON had no security, so they were just, you know, being taught and being built up. But other people, maybe such as yourself, they had already um, performed, maybe you know, bhav bhakti in previous life and wanted more in this life. So, but then you found it. I, I always think yes, ya prasada bhagavad prasada yes, ya prasada nagati patopi. By the mercy of Krishna, one receives Guru, and by the mercy of Guru, one can attain Krishna. So, by according to our desire, man proposes, God disposes. According to our desire, we will get, you know, what we want. Thank you, So maybe we can Okay. I do Mara just giving you um, the highest form, isn't it? Yeah. But it depends on your reciprocation on what yes. you desire. Yes. From Prabhupada's books, we are very seeing yes. that the potentiality for that topmost bar is there. Yes. It's in his works. Yes. But it's only based on our desire. Yes. Like yes. And also our understanding, because our vision is, is covered. Last time we were in the also mentioned, you know. We are covering our material desire, our echo. So therefore, we are like, looks like we are grass with caramel grass. You know, yeah, this, this color is more, more of, you know, nature. You know, and then according to this grass's color, we can understand Bhagatam, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. So therefore, to get highest one, we, we must hear from highest degree of bhakta. This is a, we say Lashka Vajnava. Some of who know Lhasa, some of who know relationship with you know, Ishtadeva, some of who understand what is the highest teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That person show us their way that person open our eye. This Chakshirana did away, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, therefore, my understanding, if possible, we have to, we, we, we must hear from highest degree of Rashka mm -hmm. But the problem is, it is very difficult to find mm -hmm. this Vaishnava. Yes. You know, I was looking for many years, not you know, one, two years, 10 years, 20 years, I was looking for. And our problem is like this. I cannot speak Hindi, I cannot speak Bengali, I cannot understand Sanskrit. 
some Rashika Vaishnava, especially Vrindavan, they don't speak English. You know? This is my greatest problem. Because without communication, without hearing, how can we understand? Can you, can you repeat the question? Okay. <coughs> Uh, that devotee was asking, uh, Prabhupada gave us everything in his book, in his teaching. I said, yes. And then I said, but the problem was, problem is, we are covering material ego and material desire. So therefore, <clears throat> according to our vision, <clears throat> like according to, we are wearing grass. Sometimes red grass, yellow grass, black grass. According to our grass, we can, we can read Bhagavatam, Chaitan Charitamrita or Bhagavad Gita. So to, then we need someone, someone who open our eyes. This is real guru. <clears throat> and we have to hear someone who is Rashka Vaishnava, someone who knows Lhasa of Radha Mohan, someone who knows highest truth, someone who realizes relationship of our Ishta Deva. This is called Rashka Vaishnava. We have to find out this very advanced qualified devotee this but one problem is there who is rashka vaishnava where can we find it another problem is most of the devotee most of us we cannot speak hindi we cannot speak bengali we cannot speak Sanskrit. Then how can we understand? What? How can we find that devotee? Even though many, you know, devotee is there, Rashka devotee made there in Hindi speaking people or Bengali speaking people, but we cannot access, we cannot approach really. So I'm talking like this. Hmm. <clears throat> Would you add some? No, I just wanted. Did, did he accepted that point? I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, we continue. <laughs> so, therefore, it is up to your desire. What is your goal of life? At first, we, we, we must save ourselves. Then, then we can save others. If we are not saved, then we cannot save others. According to my our advancement, we can help others. But if we don't advance, we cannot help. That's my realization, honest realization. Yeah. <laughs> you see how that's so. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I appreciate that you're being honest, and I am also encouraged to be honest as well. For me, I experience a lot of happiness when I see people who have, are struggling with life and are struggling in this material world get some soulless by chanting the holy names, even if they don't understand, but they come and they say, Oh, this is helping me so much. I will go into this, and um, it helps them feel better for me that I find enough. And we were speaking about when I was saying, I'm if it's just in my moment right now, I'm not too much focused on a goal because I feel like everyone is focused on next location, next destination. But see, now being able to share the glories of these holy names, share the glories and the power of these holy names gives me that satisfaction. Mm. And um, even when we're in a kirtan and we're, we we're here and we're listening to the, the, these things, I'm feeling there's so many people out there 
who could at least come and be also happy like this, where they can treat other people with love and, you know, um, look at some of the you can know about them too, like this. You know, that for me, I feel satisfied. Um, and if I know that that is pleasing to Shimachi Radharani and Krishna, that um, their holy names are helping other people to be elevated, for me, I am feeling okay then. And that is good, you know. Um, we're discussing also that verse. Narayana Parasarve, Tantashima Nipati, Svarga, Pavarga, Narakesh, Vapitulia, Tatashima. Wherever I go, my strength is being able to share the glories of the Lord, the glories of God and Krishna. And so, even in my, in my perspective, I don't have much desire to know who I am, ultimately. Because... Even when, even wherever I will be, my strength will be the love, will be the holy name, will be glorifying the holy name, chanting and describing those glories. So whatever I am, whether I am this character or this character, the principle remains the same. And the mercy is that the goal, that which is in the spiritual reality, has been merciful and has come to me without me being qualified to be. I'm from nature background, isn't it? You know, I'm untouchable. Brahmanas normally, is the, when my shadow is upon them, they have to take back. But somehow, that process has come to me. You know? So, in that gratitude, that's enough for me to be able to share that with others because Mahaprabhu is not distinguishing. You're from this place, you're from this place. But you can focus on the name, you know? But if we if for my opinion, maybe this is why I need the standard to help is if I'm focused on who I am ultimately, you know, and that is not my reality in how I'm perceiving right now, then I still feel like I'm in a meditation outside of my now. But in now, if my meditation is now, and I'm fixating myself on rather than is now and the Buddha and the past and the mood, then I can bring people to that also. Mm. Regardless of who I am, mm. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you think and you can this. Okay. Would you like to explain? Yeah. Can summarize this. Summarize yeah. Because it was yeah. loud. Well. <laughs> okay, summarize like this. He he saw distributing holy name, chanting Hare Krishna, people chanting Hare Krishna, they change life a lot. And then this gives me so much happiness. I'm satisfied in this preaching. I'm honestly, I'm not so much, I don't care who I'm why, but I just to distribute the holy name and people become happy, that's enough. So that devotee is feeling like this. I'm so much, you know, background was very bad, murecha. I'm like untouchable, but still I also change my life. So like uh, I just, uh, you know, whenever, and then I just, I don't care who I'm, I so much, but I just distribute the holy name, distribute Radha Krishna's kata, that is enough. He's saying like this. Yeah, he, he, is, he is honestly saying that maybe I need more help in this connection to know myself. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so continue. Me, can I say it? Please. Please. This question has come up several times since I've been here last month. There was one sannyasi, Kamara, who was sitting over there. I don't know his name. But I don't know the name of the Maharaj who was here recently. But he was he was explaining the same point. He's preaching to a few hundred people, but only giving them Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, not giving them anything else. This is from Poland? Who? Who, which Maharaj? From Poland? He was actually a sannyasi. He was sannyasi? Yeah, he is a sannyasi. He was sitting here about before you were, you were here. Ah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You want a beer? No. 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 This one? Ah, so Jam Jam Maka. Ah, Jam Maka. Oh, yeah, Jam Maka. Ah, Jam Maka. Ah, this is... Uh, uh, yeah. When, when Sanyasi came, uh, I think... Uh, he was asking the same question, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, I talked to the Buddha Dev in this. You, you, said, you told him, please talk to this, this Sanyasi. Uh, this... Uh, I think took Sanyasi from Paramahita Maharaj. And he was in Antarctica. and uh, uh, Antarctica. Ah. Italian. Italian Maharaj. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Now it's clear. Continue. You are there. It's satisfaction, you know, give your give you satisfaction just to continue. Mm. You know, that's okay. Mm. You know. No harm, you know, because you are taking shared and holy name. That is okay. I agree. But ultimately, uh, slowly, slowly, this is my honest experience, you know. Honest feeling is we have to come what is the goal of life. Who am I? What is the relationship with my Ishtadeva? Who is my Ishtadeva? Where would, 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 would I want to would, would, um, would I want to go? Which spiritual world, which place we would like to go? Which seva we, we would like to go in our in my world? But in that verse that you quoted, Narayana Bhana said, there's no care where to go. It's for Arga Loka, whether I'm in heaven, whether I'm in hell. Who's saying it? Huh? Who's saying it? Oh, well, it's being said by the Who's Gobi. Speaking? Who's speaking? The Gobi is speaking. The Gobi is speaking. No, 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 no. This is... Uh, uh, I forgot the matter. Uh, it's it's about the Gobi. Okay, let's go to you. Let's find the... I mean, if you have a no, okay. no, you know, he, you know, it's not, not because, you know, Narayana Parasa, because ah, Narayana Bhakta. So, ah, you know, so, at first, you know, it's okay, but this is Narayana Bhakta. Mm. So, Bhagavatam describes from, you know, one, you know, first chant to nine chant, he describes about, say, different kind of incarnation. Mm. And uh, probably most of it is like, uh, you know, especially Ishta is Krishna. It's kind of perspective. Mm -hmm. And he described many, you know, many incarnations. And also Vaikuntha Bhakti is main thing. Mm -hmm. So Prabhupada said, don't see controller, mm. see that good truth. Yes, and then tense canto. <laughs> tense canto is it is a Krishna, I know like a Krishna's face. So tense canto is describes not only controller but absolute truth. And also Krishna to Bhagavan's wife. How Krishna forget Supreme Personality God? I'm not a controller. Then you become absolute truth. And then, you know, absolute truth is, is coming. That, is that here? Yeah. yeah, and then Krishna's energy yeah. among the gopi, gopi is highest. Among the gopis, one special gopi is highest. This gopi is absolute, the absolute truth. This is conclusion of Srimad Bhagavatam. Yeah, well. so, so, yeah. I am convinced. I am. <coughs> so this discussion is uh, so distributing holy name and saving people, that is very good. But I feel my experience, but ultimately we have to come who and why. 
which is spiritual planet would you, would, would I, would we like to go? What kind of seva would, would, would I like to do in spiritual world? And he said, Narayan's Parasarve, this verse. This, this verse means the devotee Narayan, he does not care to go to heavenly planet or hell. He does not care, just he, 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 he glorify the Lord, the meaning of this verse. But then I'm asking, but this is Narayan Bhakta. Would you like to go to Narayan planet? So, and then up to Bhagatam, first canto to ninth canto, describe about God and uh, kind of controller, many things. And then tenth canto is, is absolute truth is described. Krishna forget, and tenth canto, Krishna forget controller. I am controller, forget. He enjoys sweetness. And then tenth canto describes who is most beloved, beloved person for Krishna. Who is most dear devotee of the Lord for Krishna? This is absolute truth. This is Radha Rani. We, we are talking like this. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, more? Yeah. Huh? Okay, we continue this recording. You know, she went to the my goal is to serve yeah. Shiva to have a I am convinced. In what capacity, maybe I do not know, but yeah. servant yeah. is serving in the capacity that Master wants. So if Shimati Radhika, maybe you can uncover for me. If she wants it like this, I will do what she wants. If she wants it different way, I will do this is it. Very right. But like, you know, Radha Rani has a spiritual body. To serve Radha Rani dearly, we have to have a spiritual body. A man's body, we cannot serve Radhika. Only ladies in a body, a plus spiritual body, can serve Radhika. So then, to serve Radhika, we have to know which kind of spiritual body we should have. You understand? So, Bhakti is, say, I told you, external thing, this, this sadhaka deha, this body, this body is seva, the internal means our, our spiritual body. Both we need it. Without knowing this spiritual body, Swarupa, we cannot serve radical reality. Do you understand? So we have material body, so we can serve material thing. But if we have, you know, radical has spiritual body, then we should have the same spiritual body to serve radical. Okay, we have, for example. I could not catch this. So, uh, John, oops, sorry, sure, sure. I'm really sorry. Yeah. No. yeah, it's fine. fine. Uh, Jananda Maharaj was sharing about the importance of knowing who <laughs> recognizing the Ishta, recognizing who is my beloved Lord. And then according, because my beloved Lord has a spiritual identity, I want to be connected directly to my Ishta body. Therefore, I need spiritual body to connect directly. My God, so good. <clears throat> Jai Guru Dev. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, th therefore, it's this other inner aspect is very, very important to us to know my Ishtadev has spiritual body, I have to have a spiritual body and know 
our spiritual eternal relationship. My God. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Save us, Sarikal Gurpena. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, please. My God. Yeah. 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 I just remember you saying it over and over, Gurudev, that verse. ಸಾಧಿಕೂಪೇನಾಮಿಸಿಂಡಿಯ <laughs> meditate on our internal form and serve internally in our uh our mentally what is it mentally conceived. mentally conceived spiritual form yeah oh yeah jagtamma ki just repeating what you've told us guru yeah. yeah i would i would like to share also what guru is saying about this chatra yeah I think this is also important. Yes. The most important realization in spiritual life is this spiritual identity. Then we are under umbrella. This is umbrella. Then under this umbrella everything is complete. Our sadhana feelings and our swarupa feelings are the same. And we move our material body with our spiritual feelings. not with some other feelings yeah oh yeah oh shirade jai gurude jai gurude and the gamma raj jai gurude okay okay ah uh, would someone else like to share some or question or, or questions or question something or something <laughs> Well, understand? Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's okay, play that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Radha Charan. Radha Charan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radha Charan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two days. Uh, yeah, we need your share. Are... Only few days. Wait, 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 wait. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Bring, bring, bring. Yeah, I didn't do it. Uh-huh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. See, only one day more is going on. Okay, that's it. This is, is living us. This is the longest. My God, we can see only Rajan too. He will not appear here. <laughs> no. <coughs> not about particularly this moment, but about what everything that I heard, and all this discussion at this point. <coughs> it also uh i am understand about uh, shri prakash by his mercy uh i open for me vrindavan he 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 show me vrindavan and then shri narayan gosain prakash also and but i was in scon 7 years and 22 years in godamat and even before coming to learn the sama rash i already got desire to become the daisy in this corn as you general mahash said by shugurning the sama rash mercy yeah and shugurning the sama rash increased his desire he spoke about manjari seva he spoke about glorish matradika but really <laughs> uh the connection with shimati radika and my attention on her become much more stronger here before we spoke about shimati radika as our goal what we are manjari were but really so much krishna krishna <laughs> yeah, yeah. and no any idea how to came to sorupa no any idea um, no nobody spoke my god no oh, yeah. no children the smash told us and that when many devotees go to ananda swami maharaj he told us he explained how is the pranalis trina apis nishna tarora apis nishna to explain like this but recently not not recently some not so the devotion guru tech explained here 
But yes, it's possible to realize your self-bio-change in Harinam. But if someone wants to realize his self just through change in Harinam, it's some proudness there. Because it is the way of Kripa, not the Sadhana. To Manjari, uh, Sarupa is the way of Kripa, not Sadhana. If someone thinking he himself, by change in Harinam, can get it, it's some proudness. And from this point of view, I think it, if he was receiving his sarupa through uh, Guru Parampara from Shimati Radhika, then, uh, and then he received the connection with sarupa, then with some qualities from sarupa coming, in other piece of Mishnah, in other piece of section, and then this was, was working in another way, not first I must become, become humble, yeah, it's also good, but Real humbleness coming from Swarupa. Wow. No, it's, yeah, not, it's not yeah, by mental would. exercise. Wow. Yeah. And what? Yes. Yeah. Very clear. Very clear. Very nice. 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 What is it? Rupa Nuga and Krishna Krishna. Rupa Nuga and Krishna Krishna. Rupa Nuga means to follow Rupa Manjai mood. He told, not Rupa Gaswami, it's not enough. We must follow Rupa Manjari. It, it's written in book Gauravani Pracharine, his glorification of Shri Rupa Nuga. Because Rupa Goswami, in his books, giving knowledge for all kinds of bhaktas, mm. in, in any mood, mm. Dasya mood, Sakya mood, friendship, Bhavatsali, it's not following of Rupa Goswami, really. How should we let it say? To follow Rupa Gassan means to follow Rupa Gassan. Many, many years I thought, what does it mean, Rupa Gassan is Prajna Chari? I repeat it two hours. I explained two hours, but really I'm not understanding. Uh, only here I understood what does it mean, Rupa Gassan is Prajna Chari. What is my Prajna and how he is giving me his Prajna? Wow. 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 Yeah. He is the preacher. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very beautiful, Radha Charan. And without studying Birapak Manjari, we could not understand the really glory of Radha Charan. And Rupa Gosan. And without Guru Dhan. And <laughs> 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 Also, Shidanta Maharaj, you are present. Could you, could you share something? Yeah, oh, Shidanta Maharaj. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, mute. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I was absent a little bit, but I, I was there for most of it, and I was there during the Nice discussion with the nice Iskand devotee, and I just want to express my gratitude to Jainanda Maharaj. My Thank close association you. with Jainanda Maharaj has helped me immensely, and he's so merciful, spending a lot of time with me, talking to me, taking me under his wing, showing me so many things, and also it's good. Okay, okay. I can express my gratitude to Radha Charan, his through his example of humility. So sacrifice he's really helped me so much too and I'm, we're going to miss him so much um 
So I just want to express my gratitude again to all of the devotees in Munger Mandir, all okay. uh, showing the love of Srila Gurudev. So please come to Munger Mandir if you can. And we hope to see you soon. So Jai Radhe. We will miss very much Radha we need we need him we need her <laughs> he no need us okay continue continue Maharaj. continue we are continuing with recording we are there well, um uh rather more idea yeah and we're doing so here Mm -hmm. Is that not pleasing to Shrimati Radhika? Is that not service to Shrimati Radhika? They are pleasing, but this Sadaka Deha uh, say, Sadaka Deha means indirect service. Mm -hmm. In this material world, Seva, that is very good. Also, same time, if we go back to spiritual world, we have to, we must have a spiritual body to serve intimate Seva. Yeah. Yes, of course, because. Yeah, yeah. Um, Material body cannot, cannot do, spirit, you know, you're, you're this material, you know, male body. You cannot serve radical reality. Yes, we have my we have material body. Yeah. But the, the soul within, which is a spiritual, which over the process of bhakti, um, will transcendentalize. No, soul needs body. Soul needs body. Yeah. yeah. So soul, soul itself has no form. We're saying, you know, yeah. say, soul itself, soul, soul itself is energy. You see? Soul is reality has, you know, if we don't realize it, we are marginal potency, you know, we are Tatasa Shakti. Tatasa Shakti means neutral. Yeah, marginal. Marginal means, you know, we can go ping pong, you know, yes. material world, spiritual world. Mm -hmm. And Tatasa Shakti means we don't have still see spiritual body. Very nice. Like Upanishad mentioned, soul has, soul has not male, not female, like neutral. In this our present moment, soul is neutral. Soul, soul has, does not the body. So soul is not prakriti in this moment. It's, soul is say, soul is. Say, you know, soul nature, soul nature property, but we are conditioned. So therefore, we are we are thinking we are pleasure. You know uh, it's covered with the ego. Ego. Uh -huh. You know, like false ego. And the, and the practice is to uncover that ego. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But still, Purusha. Discovering makes us Purusha. My false ego and condition make me push us. Yes. Mm -hmm. So therefore we are thinking we are not to, we are not to, uh, servant, we are thinking we are controlled because of ego. Mm -hmm. In this moment we don't have a spiritual body, we have soul, but the soul does not manifest spiritual life. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. So means by the bhakti means just serving in this material body, Sataka Deha, <coughs> the Guru, Guru thinking Guru is this material Guru. Material body has, you know, by the Bhakti means everything externally. Okay. Oh, okay? Yeah, just to help me understand. So, when the soul leaves this material body, and, and you know, like Srila Prabhupada in his books, maybe he says, he will not take birth again. Mm. And now even Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, you will not take birth again, mm. but you will attain my spiritual abode. Mm. Um, you were saying you will also attain our spiritual body. Or is it is it spiritual okay. is, it, is it if our quality is spirit? So, okay. Okay. So, okay, okay, I can uh, explain. So do we need some uh, comment on this? Like repeat the question or um, I don't know. We can follow. Listen, huh? Govinda Nandini, uh, were you able to catch this? 
Uh, yeah, about okay, how okay. to get spiritual <coughs> okay. He said yes. Bhagavad Gita said the eighth chapter, fifth verse or sixth verse. え、ヤンヤンビアピスマランババン。ジャジャンティアンティカレンバラン。タンタンエバイティカンティア。タダサッタンバリアサンソレタ。アン、え、ヤンヤンビアピスマランババン。If at the time of this Prabhupada explained if we we at the time of this we we remember something that we get something. But actually, Sanskrit this mentioned Baba. Yaya Pyati Sumaram Baba. So Baba, this Baba is many meaning. Some be some meanings existence, some meaning feeling. What kind of feeling with Gishta Deva? And then we can get this 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 place. That is meaning, my understanding. And this feeling we can't have now. Yes, we, we, we have now material feeling. Also. This means material attachment. So in Bhagavatam mentioned, if someone attached wife, lady, then next next life we can have lady's body. So Bhagavatam mentioned Bharata Maharaj attached to deer. Then he became next life, even though he was almost at the Baba stage. Still he has to next that life, he has to be born. Deer. Right? So therefore, what kind of attachment, what kind of feeling we have, we can then. So if I meditate on Shumati Radhika at yeah. the time of death. Yeah, but, without, or is that impossible? That not happen? You still have, you have to no, have you know, but still at that time, what kind of feeling with Radhika we should have? That I am a servant. You know, sometimes Radhika's friend, Radhika's male servant, Radhika has, you know, gopi friend also. Okay. Yeah. Ladika has also mother. Ladika. Father. Father. Yeah. There has to be some relation. Yeah, there are also, you know, mother in law, sister in law. Relation. So, so what kind of relation, you know, feeling comes from relation? You see, okay, sorry. Maybe I'm asking also many questions. Sorry, maybe yeah, I don't know. Very deep. Yeah, we found it. <laughs> I I am surprised how people are answering. You see, uh, in Juicy Kirtan, yeah, we sing. Yeah. Um, Amy Vedana, Amy Vedana Dharo, uh-huh. Saki Anugata Kor, yeah. Sevadi Karadi Koroni Jadas. Mm. I beg you to make me a follower of the cowherd dancers of Raj. Yeah. Mm. Give me the privilege of devotional service and make me your own make <laughs> uh-huh. So, so we're asking to be our own make service. Yes. No, Is that asking for God to be one as well? Because just ask us to be a make servant generally. Yeah. Or is it like whatever you desire? So, you know, Sebadi Koroni, Koroni, so Saki, you know, Saki is five times. You know that? No, I don't know. The great sense of Saki has five times in Saki. Saki means five kind. Saki. Um, among the five kind, two kind of made servant. Everybody servant of Radhika, one sense. So, but which kind of mood we should have? This Torashi Kirtan is very deep. So, what kind of Saki mood would you like to have? It? What to kind of yes, yes, also you know, Saki is Saki is two friend, Saki, and also Manjari. These two kind. And then we have to know the feeling of Saki and feeling of Manjari. If we don't understand clearly this this thing, 
we cannot be nowhere, you know? That's exactly. but, but if I'm a servant, it's like, let's say, I go to my king or the king, and the king is telling me to serve him in this way. And then the king is saying to serve me in this way. I am dependent on the king's desire. I am not put, I'm not putting yeah. a label on myself. Yes, yeah, but, but also king may say, yeah. What kind of experience would you would you like? What kind of service would you like to do? Okay, so that's dependent on the that's dependent on the king. So if the king is requesting, yeah, then I, like I make the choice. Huh? I like the and also you have to at first select the king, which kind of king, which this means Ishta Yes, yeah, so we've established that already, as Shumati Radi. Okay, that we've established. Now, the detail of how I will serve Shumati Radika, if I'm saying I am a servant, is dependent on how, how do you want me to serve you, Shumati Radika. And so if she wants me to serve like this, then and she reveals my meditation, now I go to Guru in that sense, help me meditate on this, to please Shumati Radika, because that's what's revealed. Or Guru will reveal, this is how Shumati Radika wants you to serve her. Yeah. But if I'm already deciding that this is what it is, then I'm choosing how I want to serve. So I'm still controlling the service. So I see, you know, right in that sense. Am I wrong in saying this? I uh, see. So, okay, anyway, first thing is, you know, so you want to be made a servant. Then at first, you, you, you have to know. Made servant in what kind of feeling should have you? I still go back to the point of servant. Because servant is doing what is pleasing to the master yeah. or the mistress. Yes, 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 yes. So if mistress is deciding that this is what I want you to do as servant, I have to do. Guru mm -hmm. decides, okay, today I want you to do this, mm -hmm. you do it. Mm -hmm. If tomorrow Guru says, I want, today may be good for Guru, your personal servant. Tomorrow Guru maybe tells you, go do Harinam, mm -hmm. you know, do my personal mm -hmm. service. But if I say, no, 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 I'm just your personal servant, mm -hmm. but Guru will be pleased if I go out on the street, am I not displeasing Guru? I mean, am I making sense by asking this? Because then I am, as, I am giving the choice of how I want it to be used. To my master. Yeah. You know, this is actually pure true. You know, we have to serve master, like Guru Dev or Swamini, according to their desire. Yeah. But how do we know their desire? That's for them to tell us, no? So, then, 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 someone who, he said, if you want to be that, that has made servant, then your guru should be that has made servant. This is point. If guru does not practice this this service of radical, how can how guru knows radical's feeling? How can teach you radical same? Impossible for my understanding. If guru guru they practicing Saka Baba. Or Dasha Baba, you know? Guru worship Krishna. I'm Krishna's servant. If Guru is thinking like this, how Guru can teach you Radhika's feeling? How to practice Manjari Baba? Do you understand my point? Um, yeah, I'm really trying to understand it, but I'm still getting doubts. See, see, yeah, yeah. you know, so if, say, you, you ask me, a Jayananda gave me 100 rupees, but I have only 10 rupees. Sorry, I have only 10 rupees, I cannot give 100 rupees. You understand? Mm -hmm. If does not know radical service, radical made, you know, if Guru does not know radical, or Guru does not have relationship with radical, Guru only have relationship with Krishna, or Guru only know Krishna, how can Guru teach you that as Okay, that obviously opens another box. <laughs> because in one sense, Radharani being Krishna's pleasure potency, that's in one sense, it would be still dependent on 
that decision from them what they want. How I'm saying is, if okay, let's say my guru is Radhika Dasi, huh? and uh, maybe my guru has no understanding in detail of what service he's doing, but if he's Radhika Dasi and he's perfected, then you'll know. Yeah, because yes. Rani will reveal. Yes. So, right. example, uh -huh. if you want to be sub made servant of Radhika, you have to find out someone who made servant, made servant, dear made servant of Radhika. Do you understand? Mm. And this, have, okay. this is my problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My good name is Krishna's servant. I want to be Radha's made servant. If I ask Gurudev at that time, Gurudev cannot answer my question because he is Krishna's son. Do you understand? So in this way, serving Radhika or being Radhika's main servant is different from serving Krishna. Yeah. If, even though um, Shivaji Radhika is Krishna's pleasure potency. Yes. So therefore, Bhagavad Gita 10.10 10 describes at first approach Krishna. You know, the, the, the goal, uh, the, the way of progress is Krishna. Means Krishna is not the supreme goal. Mm. So therefore, at first go Krishna, but someone who qualify and then go to Radhika. So it's this my point, you know. If you want to be Radha Dashi, then you have to find out Radha Dashi is Guru. Guru has to practice this this Raga Nuga Bhajan. You know. So if Guru only practices by the bhakti, how can he teach me, teach us Raga This is my problem. You know, I want, you know, I want to practice you know, Raga Nuga Bhajan. I want to be made servant of Radhika, but nobody can teach me because they are Krishna dance. Do you understand my problem? Yeah, yeah. So what's Raja. important is to understand Raja. the new. Hmm? It's great. Huh? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Let me turn the Maybe. mic. Maybe not. YouTube. I just repeat in good day teaching. No, no, no. I just repeat in good day teaching. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I don't speak. I am not a qualified. I never qualified. I'm a student. I, I learn I from you. <laughs> you don't say I'm always a student learning. I'm trying to research. Gurudev, um, we heard from Srila Narayanaraj about Radhadasya. He used to tell us to beg, beg for Radhadasya wherever we go on the Braj Mandala Prakama and put our heads in the dust and beg for Radhadasya, but I didn't know what that was. I was doing it because I was obedient, but I had no idea until I met you. And then the concept of Radharani came from your heart into my heart, and that was the that was the only way that I could. He's much in and I remember there's one quote from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, where he said, How can I see the enchanting form of Sri Krishna if I don't know my own form? Mm. So, all Mahajan say, but we don't practice that. And for Nagar Maharaj, difficult because all the devotee was Krishna devotee. Mm. And how they are ready to understand Radha Das. So his, all his devotees, when he gives the mic, they say Krishna. 
progress. Huh? Now we are making progress. Okay. <laughs> And the Kamaraj ki jai, yes. he has a great job to do that. Thank you. He is hiding, but he is a great soul. Yes, very Pressing great. the keys. Very great. <laughs> <laughs> Every Friday, something is special happening. I am surprised. <laughs> Friday is for surprise day. <laughs> so, Thursday is a. Wow, Uddhav Day. Uddhav Maharaj. Uddhav Maharaj. Every day is something special. Glad Eras. <laughs> Thank you, all of you, who is trying to teach and share each other and love. That is the goal of life. That's the prayer. That's how to share and how I can improve myself. This all our teacher, all helping each other. And then now we have to decide what I like. <laughs> what is the best to do? I have to decide. It's open for you. No hard and fast. That is Raga Bhakti. By loving feeling you understand what to do and not to do. This is your decision. Love for Krishna is also not bad. But one water is living in the pond and one is a river. What water is good? Who is flowing water? The water is not flowing, then water becomes stinky. If my feelings and spiritual life is not flowing, it becomes dry. Because it should be flow. It should be, flow should be there. Flow means some movement has to be there in the spiritual development. That is our desire. And this desire has to be inside us. That is my advice to all of you. What I can advise, you know better than me. Radhe, Radhe, Dandavat to all Vaishnavas, Lotus feet. Bless me that I have also some Vishnu life. And I can serve Vaishnava. And my Easter Jai Shri Radha. Jai Jai Shri Radha. Jananda Maharaj group, beautiful question answers. I will request everybody should record it and keep in your life. I will request to put in Radha Darshan or tell me what is the more. Uh, we will put on the YouTube or something. YouTube and send to Krishna Kirtan, then he will arrange. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Please, this is very important lecture. Talking, sharing is feeling. And this way you can understand the feeling of Jananda Maharaj and feeling of Radha Charan. Today Radha Charan also share. He is going, but he cannot go from our heart. Hmm. Because he is so elevated, so he is going just for pleasure. But he cannot live without us, and we will cannot live without him. <laughs> he will come back to see us. <laughs> he will see Russia, his country land and the devotee of his country and then he will realize, no, this is, where is my place? Radhe, Radhe. Okay.
Bene, grazie. <laughs> Thank you, Gurdjieff. Very nice. Yeah, she rade, rade, guru de. Como está? Muy bien, guru de. I love you, guru de. Thank you. <laughs> Como está en Colombia? Muy bien, muy bien, guru de. Wow. Very so happy, much. very happy, Guru De. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Why are you putting your what, what is it? beard? We are like this, no looking good. <laughs> it's not for you, not for devotee. You become something else, ask to others. It's not good. <laughs> It should be natural. In time, it should be fixed because I want to sometimes. Thank you.